Hello everybody, it's Crafty Carol here from Northern Ireland. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in gorgeous Northern Ireland, although it's a little bit dark and dreary today, but hopefully summer's on the way so it'll get better. So today I'm using the lovely By My Side stamp set, um, beautiful set which came out in the annual catalogue last year and is carrying over this year, I'm very glad to say. It's got some lovely, lovely sentiments and these two two three gorgeous um images that you can uh you can use so i'm actually only using it for the tag but because i'm going to make a 3d box and this is a rather nice box it's an idea i got from um, an american demonstrator erica uh, serwin um, and she gave me the original ideas i have adapted it a little bit and i'm just going to cut off the little feathers because obviously I need a new stamp I need a new blade on my trimmer uh, which I haven't yet put on um so I'm going to show you all the bits that you need first I've adapted it for um metric measurements as well so I'll give you those two so the main piece for the box itself this is um I'm using sweet sorbet for for mine and this is in inches, nine and three quarter inches by six and a quarter inches, or 24 and a half centimetres by 16 centimetres. And we're going to start off by scoring on the long side. I can bring my scoring thing in, try and make sure it's where you can see it. Okay, so we're going to start scoring on this long edge on it and we're going to score it at one and a quarter. So I can use my measurements, yeah, use this end uh, here, just holding it steady against my scoring and then running my um, blade down. So that's at one and a quarter or three centimetres, four and a quarter, which is here, and that is ten and a half centimetres, five and a half or again in metric that's 14 centimeters and eight and a half or um 21 and a half sets in centimeters so four score lines on this side and then we're going to turn it round to the short side and we're going to score it again at one and a quarter or three centimeters all the way down and then we are going to do a final score at five inches or 13 centimeters so Hopefully that gives you all the measurements for that. And that's all the scoring we need to do. So I can put my scoreboard away. And then we're going to trim it in the way we'd normally to make a box. And this is um, a fold over lid box. So we're going to cut on these long sides. We're going to trim up the score lines that we've just made. And we're going to just cut out a little bit of a triangle on each side. Um, which will make them fit together better. And we're going to do that on all of these folds. So those are the cuts we need to do. And then my blade and we're just going to um, crease all the folds and burnish them with the scoring tool. So there's all our score lines cut and burnished. So we're going to start with the base of the box and I'm just going to use for speed, if I can find it, <laughs> I'm going to use my fast fuse on this. You could use uh, liquid glue, but do leave it to dry before you make up the rest of the um, the rest of the box. So I'm just going to use some tape. So because I'm using tape, I need to be very careful that I get my corners exact. These two first, I think. So I'm making sure to line them up exactly before I press down the tape. Same with this one. Lining up exactly and then pressing down. Now, obviously, if, it's, if you're using liquid glue, then yes, please, please, please <laughs> make sure that um, you have leave, leave it to properly set before you make up the rest of it. So now I'll do the lid bit. 
again I want to make sure my corners are exact so make sure my corners are exact and then isn't exact just put a bit more tape on there this is the downside of using tape because you can't you can't uh, move it as much whereas liquid glue gives you a bit more wiggle room which is better there we go so that goes together just like that can you see how neatly it fits so these flat bits just come around the edge of the box and that's the main box to open so there's you can fit a good number of things in here and um, you could fit several chocolate bars or you could fit um, a couple of hand sanitizers or anything like that um, any little gifts you want to give so that is the box i'm going to put that to one side while we make the rest of it so the other pieces that you need we need two more oh sticking together today two more pieces of sweet sorbet and these are um, five inches by three and a half or twelve and a half centimetres by nine centimetres uh, and two of those and then we have panels for decorations we have a basic white panel which is four uh, four and a quarter by two and three quarters or eleven by seven centimetres and I've just used some of the um, in colour DSP that we've got I'm going to use this the spotty side I think probably and that is four by two and a half or ten and a half centimeters by six and a half centimeters so this is going to stick onto my base and go back to my favorite glue <laughs> because this doesn't this can just sit on that's fine and if you wanted you could do a stamped panel on this or whatever I'm just going to have this for decoration, I think, and then that itself sticks into the centre of one of the panels. The other one stays plain and I have done a little bit more decoration. I've made a handle because this is actually a like a school bag or something like that. And this handle is going to stick onto my sheet like that. And I actually used it the some of the stitched rectangle dies to cut out an end bit and I use the small, smallest one for the centre and that's going to be my label on the front of the box here so we shall stick that on Oop. just in the centre here now you could make this um, a name if you wanted you could print a name on it and um, I'm going to just use a stamp I'm going to use which should we say Hi, sweet friend, or thinking of you today, or you did it here for you. So many nice, nice things here. Which should we have? Um, oh. Let's have hi, sweet friend, I think. Just need to grab a block. And I'll just do it in the memento for speed. As I say, you could put uh, somebody's name on this or any greeting you wanted to give to somebody there. And then this, um, I think I'm going to use a little bit of tape on this, a little bit of tear and tape. Um, this is just the handle for the box. So I'm going to stick down the end of the handle, just that bit of it. Too big a bit of tear and tape, that's all right, because I can just fold it up. There we go. Now, Obviously you've got to be careful you put the tape on the correct side of this because this is going behind my front panel. Another bit that's far too big, but I'll just fold it over. There we go, that's fine. So this is going to stick behind, oops, let's get rid of that piece, behind my front panel. So I want it to be in the middle. So I use my desk to make sure I get it in the middle and we want it to be straight. There we go. There's my handle, and I've also cut out um, a piece from silver foil of the Alpha Best, the Alpha Best punch. It goes with the little Alpha Best set, stamp set. And that is my little latch. Because obviously bags have latches, so again, we want that to be in the middle. There we go, so that's the front of my box made. So that is now, my box is opening this way. So this is the top, and I'm going to stick this 
just on there like that in the middle. So I'm going to carefully put glue all over there and then make sure I got it the right way up. That's the top, that's the top. Yeah, so that way around it needs to go. I had to treble think that. Bear with me as I just lean over here a little bit. There we go. Let's press that down for a minute. Yep. And then the other piece goes on the back. to lie it down like this so I can make sure I'm getting it in the middle again. There we go. Now I was going to put a tag on the bag but actually I didn't like the tag so I haven't done the tag. What I've done is I've coloured and uh, cut out the little boy and the little dog and actually stuck them on just to the front there and I think it looks neater. It's 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 better. I like it better. If you wanted to put a tag on by all means do but I've decided to do that and my little sentiment I decided I'd put that on the back, so I've actually just stamped that and rounded some corners, stuck a little heart on. Thank you for being part of my life just on the back. So that is my little box all finished, ready to have its gift in to go to a, a nice friend of mine. I hope you've enjoyed that um, that particular project. Um, I'd also, in the blog, I've also done some other cards with this wonderful By My Side set. So um, there's this one and these, and these have used, actually these are from a different set. These are from the Glad We're Friends set, which is sadly retiring at the end of this month, April. Um, I'm keeping it because I love it, but uh, it, that, that's quite a good set. But I actually did these cards to demonstrate the embossing folders which are here, Let me show you them. Um, three different embossing folders. They're three day embossing folders and they're part of the online exclusives. Um, can't remember the item number. It's 28 pounds for all three of these. And you've got this lovely one with the bubbles, the little spots all over. You have, um, this shows two actually, it shows the hatched one at the back and then the sort of raised flower motif type one there. And this third card, has got the hatched one on my berry uh, little strip of berry burst there. So they're lovely embossing folders. I would definitely recommend you to get these. I think they're going to be so useful. I'm going to be certainly using them a lot, but I do hope you've enjoyed the projects that we've done with this lovely set. By my side, it's still available. And um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to know more about me, then go and have a look at the website, check out the blog and sign up for my email so that you know when I'm around. I do do online lives uh, through Zoom and you'll need the email to get the link. So that's, hope you also get a free PDF of your choice when you sign up, by the way. So um, do, do have a look at that. Thank you for joining me today. Bye for now.